Today, I'm gonna recreate the Pop Playtime 3 trailer in Minecraft. For those who don't know, we've been waiting for Pops Chapter 3 for ages. They finally released a trailer, so I'll start by preparing everything I need for this video. As you can see, it'll be in Playcare, Pop Playtime's crash site. Right off the bat, there's a scene with a broken train, and this was the final train of Chapter 2. So, I'll start recreating it in Block Bench, starting at the base, then I did a part where the train's driver sits. Lastly, I added the wheels, and the result came out like this. Yeah, I like it a lot. It really looks like a Pop Train. Next, I called my friend to help me build the scene. We built a mini tunnel where the train will go and we put a 3D model inside it. With my friend's help, we added decoration in front like fire, etc. And look, the map is almost ready. Just need to add a little detail here. Look, we created a tunnel in the back. The tunnel is just a copy made to look like the Playcare tunnel. My friend added some random decor here. You can see there's a bike and some wheels, but those won't be in the trailer. It's just for casting shadows. The shadow is like debris. You'll understand when you see the final result. Also, the train here is all broken. In the middle, I'll put this fire particle because in the original trailer, the camera is here with the train on fire. So yeah, it's going to look great. Check this out. I'll give you a spoiler. This is the first scene of the trailer. This here is how it looked in Pop Playtime. And this is how it looks in Minecraft. You like it? Because that was just the first one. We're gonna recreate the whole trailer in Minecraft. The next scene in the Pop 3 trailer is quite simple. Check it out. It's just a door labeled Play Care. So I'm gonna use this tunnel right here. And I built this square here. I'll make a hole here for the door. So look, here's the train. Right behind it is the door opening. To do this, I placed the door in the middle. I created it in Block Bench, the same app where I made this train. I'm gonna put this sign here next to the words Play Care. Check it out. It's literally a door with Play Care written, but you can see some mistakes. First, we cover everything up so it looks like just an open door. Then we put fences around because you can see some iron bars. And then here and here, I'll add some details with mini blocks, like some iron pipes, you see? This part was pretty easy to do. Take a look. In the original trailer, it was like this, and in Minecraft, it ended up like this. It looks pretty good. Let's move on to the third scene from the trailer. Third scene feels like we're in a room. I think it's the play care room because there are chairs to the side and the floor has scratches like some monsters been here. Okay, so I'm gonna reconstruct this scene in Minecraft. To rebuild it, I created a sort of corridor shape and then I made a square section for the chairs to the side. Raising the walls, I added all the details I thought I needed. Like the chairs, tables, and the skirting boards below and the wood above the ceiling and of course the door's pillars. I gotta tell you, this scene turned out really cool. So I'm done building for now. Let me go back to regular Jake and look at it it's really cool here it looks like a door because there's nothing here onwards I just left a black thing I set it on the floor with tissel and beads it's this little shovel thing you guys already know I can make mini blocks with it so check it out I can make holes for example then inside I put this other mini block here darker wood to imitate yeah it wasn't that big right I put it like this look to imitate like a scratch and this scene turned out really cool well it's my second favorite scene so far I like the train one the most but if you guys want to see the result like this is the pop playtime trailer scene with this blue corridor and here is what it looked like in Minecraft Craft, really cool and now we're gonna do something really fun and honestly I've been excited to get to this part we're finally at the scene where Hugwug is shown but Hugwug he's got some issues as you can see he's missing his head yeah so I'm gonna have to build this scene and put the Hugwug model on the floor with some scratches I had my friend work on this part while I was working on another to speed things up right better two builders than just one and look at the outcome I'm showing you this spooky scene with a headless Huggy Wuggy over here on the trailer there's a Teddy too then I had him put this Teddy in for me like I said while he was building this I was working on another spot as for the phone and Huggy Wuggy, I made those with 3D modeling software block bench. And honestly, it came out pretty cute. Just look at the phone and Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, I'm happy with their look. Well, now that we recreated the torn Huggy, the original version and the Minecraft version turned out cool. So I'm going to jump to another cool part of the trailer. It's more creepy because it's just Huggy Wuggy's head now. Remember when he had no head? Well, there's his head. To do this, I'm going to use an Atom model and upgrade it. See, I've got this cute Huggy Wuggy model. But what am I going to do? I'm going to delete all his parts, like legs, arms, everything. Just the head will remain, literally. Then I'll mold his head to match the trailer's version with his mouth open, for instance. Then back here, wait, got to shift it a bit. Here in the back is another cube. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like the trailer, but it's square right everything square is tough so I shaped it to resemble the trailers version added blood around his head and a metal rod through it to match truth be told I didn't think it would turn out this good given everything square it's a bit challenging in Minecraft but this one turned out really cool so in the trailer she's kind of like a shadow there's a light behind that highlights her head making her kind of dark so here the blood and dagger on his head won't show much I'll remove her here and I put her inside this white cube why did I put her in this white cube it's to pretend it's a background the camera will be kind of like this 
I'll zoom, 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 zoom. The camera will be like this. The difference is I'll use some shaders and that's how his camera will look. Seriously, it'll look great, trust me. Our trailer's almost done. I'm so excited to see the final result. Like I said, it's almost all ready. There are a few things I haven't done. For instance, drawings of Playcare kids and their pictures show up. Like this is a drawing that shows up and this is a picture. It's on a wall with scratches and writing. So my friend and I built the wall, added all the drawings and scratches. We used the same block and made a huge wall, then filled it with little papers. So yeah, we're in the final stretch to finish the Pop 3 trailer. Look at our map. I put the wall here and we added the little papers. For instance, this is a photo of a Playcare kid. Here's a drawing of her. And this scratch is from the new Pop Playtime creature, not revealed yet. It's kind of purple. You can see in the trailer thumbnail, it shows its paw. I'm really curious to play Pop 3. I'm so excited it's written, I live to serve Ranger of Salvation. I might be wrong, but it says I live to serve the Salvation Angel. Maybe the Salvation Angel is the purple creature. People think it's a cat from the drawings and stuff. Got some more shots here, this camera specifically. Camera angle will be like this, showing the top text. I celebrate life, it wondered me, right? Yep, some weird stuff. Pop playtime has its weird moments. As you know, we did all these parts. Here's the train part with its set. There's the hallway, hugwug phone scenes, and I added a candle set too. Didn't show this back part, was annoying to do, honestly. This here is a photo, for example. Didn't show you, but in the trailer. It shows this monster. It's a monster with parts from different toys. If you look close, that's Hug's head up there. This is Brom's head. This is Bunzo Bunny's head. I tried out the 1.006 here. So basically, lots of toys combined into a shadow. The original trailer looked pretty different, but I took a screenshot, cut it out, did what I could. So here's the full Pop Playtime 3 trailer results. Only in Minecraft, though. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.